I'm Caitlin. I'm Danielle. And together we're our time of the month. And today's video is very kindly sponsored by Skin Store. So thank you, Skin Store, for sponsoring this video. We're very, very excited. Like full lot, like the whole thing is sponsored. And you know we love beauty products so much. And skinstore.com has thousands and thousands and thousands of things to choose from. Yes. It's like the Cheesecake Factory menu. Where do you even begin? I had a hard time because there was so much to choose from and I couldn't, I don't know, I just like couldn't limit it down. It took me days to figure out exactly what I was going to purchase from Skin Store. Me too. And I tried very hard to actually use products or purchase products that I have not used before. Mm -hmm. um, so nothing I have used is familiar to me and only one, really only like one or two companies are even really familiar to me. I did repurchase one product which we'll obviously show you. We're gonna well, show you everything. Uh huh. So the reason that we're partnering with them today is because their friends and family sale is gonna be starting on October 8th. It runs through the 16th, and we have a special link just for you where you can receive 25% off your order if you use our link, which will be in the description box below. That is a huge discount. That's a huge discount anywhere. Like that's better than the Sephora, Sephora discount sale. sale. That's better than you'll most of the time see it like Ulta or any of those other beauty stores. So, yep. so uh, around here we go top down. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> around wait, wait, there's more. Around here, you can't start a Saturday at 11 a.m. without a beer. Uh, so today we are drinking the Otter Creek Brewing Drip Drop Coffee Stout. We have had this. We have had this before. I don't remember what I thought about it. I think it's very coffee groundy. Okay. A little dark roast. We don't need to shake it, do we? No. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Very coffee. Yes, but it's not as bitter as I thought it right. was. Okay. Wow, oh, that is coffee in a can. Mm-hmm. That's alcoholic coffee. It's a breakfast beer. It is a breakfast beer. The first product that I picked out is something from a brand that I've never used, but have had my eye on for quite some time, mostly thanks to Kate Small Things. Mm -hmm. And it's the Virtue Real Science True Beauty. It's a six in one styler, shines, texturizes, protects. This is the travel size formula. So the real size I think comes in six ounces. This is two. If you do happen to be flying anytime soon, this will fit perfectly in your travel bag. This cream offers your hair softness and shine and hydration, but it also protects from heat damage. So I have used this twice since they sent it and you use about a quarter size amount. I use a little bit less than that because my hair isn't as long as it normally is. I distribute it all over my hands very mm -hmm. evenly. And then I work it into my damp hair, like mid shaft to ends, really trying to focus it on the ends because they could use some smoothing and some shine. And then I just blow dry my hair as normal and I do feel like it helps kind of cut down on the frizziness. Like my hair is kind of poofy after I blow dry it, but with this it looked more sleek, which I really like. Sometimes hydration can mean heaviness and in this case it does not. So I've really been liking it. It has a nice smell, feels great in the hair. It's an A+. This product thus far is the only one that I have not tried and it is because I do not wash my hair. Uh, but I will, and I will be using the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Restructuring Bond Repair Mask. So we have used caviar products before and love them. I love a hair mask because I wash my hair so infrequently. I do prefer to use a conditioning hair mask rather than just regular conditioner. Mm -hmm. um, since it's really like my one time a week to get some extra moisture in my hair, I try and double down. It does. Oh, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Like, it's almost limey, but like... It's kind of Limey like, fresh, but uh, musky. So this particular hair mask is intended to use in shower. So it only says to leave it on for three minutes. I would say there's no maximum to how long you want to leave it in. So a lot of the time I will wash my hair first, rinse it out and then put in a hair mask. And then I do, I wash my face. I wash my body. I exfoliate. Yeah. I shave my legs. I do all of the other things so that it sits in my hair for as long as possible. Um, and then I'll rinse it out. I'm very excited to try this one. I have high hopes. Actually, really, it's not even high hope, it's high expectations. It's good. Because all of their other products are good, so. Okay, I did get another Virtue product, again, because of Kate Small Things. If you don't follow her on Instagram, she has mine and Caitlin's ideal hair. Yes. She's she's a professional hairstylist, first of all, so that's Was. probably the reason. Is she? How does that work? She continues to keep up on her continuing education credits, and she renews it every year, oh, so she okay. still yeah. is. So she has been talking about the Virtue Healing Oil for probably close to a year. I finally decided to pull the trigger because the oil I was using before was the macadamia oil, which I liked, but I just, you know, we like to try new things around here. Shake it up. Shake it up. Literally, this, you have to shake it up to no. use it. No, oh my God, see, I She didn't even like know. It. I already like it. 
She didn't even know. So you do have to shake it up to kind of activate the proteins and stuff in here, right? Protein. Science. Adding proteins to your hair. You're practically a chemist. I am. I'm a hair scientist. <laughs> oh God. Oh no. If someone's gonna quote us on it, we're not hair scientists. We're not. And we we're just not. have hair. We're just two people with hair. That like to experiment with different things. It protects, shines, and mends your damaged hair. So with this one, it does have this cute little lid and then a pump, which I love. I love anything with a pump. It's just more efficient, in my opinion. I take one pump, just one, and I do the same thing where I rub it in between my palms. I have only applied this on dry hair. It does say that you can apply it onto dampened hair, mm -hmm. but after I'm done blow drying my hair, I will take that one pump and really focus this on my ends where they are dry. I want them to look a little bit more smooth and less like <laughs> straw-like. Don't look at my ends. Don't look at my ends. And I do feel like it has helped with the smoothing. I washed my hair yesterday, put this in at the end, and I felt like instead of looking like the end of a broom, it looked more tapered and like together, like mm -hmm. my hair was one instead of all these <laughs> Yeah, Thanks. that's how, that's exactly how I feel about my hair right now because I haven't gotten it cut in so long. Right. I'm pretty sure I have like an inch of just right frayed strong. frayed ends. And the smell is like kind of oh, it's kind of like warm coconut. Yeah. But not overpowering at all. Like no one would ever notice that you put warm coconut oil in your hair. Maybe it might even be like macadamia. I mean, honestly, my ends just are frazzled. They are. Look at them. So that has been lovely. Because you used a little, I think this would last a really long time. If you've ever watched our channel before, thank you. Um, and you probably know I am on a constant quest for the perfect mascara for me. She is. Thus far, I have failed. Danielle likes mascaras. I hate them. I, I try other ones that she's never tried. I hate those. I just constantly feel like I'm being disappointed. Um, I think it's just because I'm living in a perpetual disappointment over the state of my natural eyelashes. <laughs> Like, it, no, I'm never going to love anything if I can't love myself. If I can't love my eyelashes, I can't love Who the love hell is going to love you if you can't right? love yourself? No yeah. mascara will love my eyelashes if I don't even love them. One of the first mascaras, high-end mascaras I remember ever trying was called Fiber Wig. They sold it at Sephora. It was the number one selling mascara in Asia. Never even heard of this. Yeah, this was way back when. And it was a tubing formula. Oh yeah, I don't like that. So instead of applying like a paint, it somehow like tubes around your eyelashes and you remove them like little spider legs. And somehow it doesn't pull out your eyelashes. So when I was on the skin store website and I was perusing, the, one of the ones that I saw and I knew that I had seen it on a list somewhere. Mm -hmm. It is the Ico London Black Magic Mascara Drama and Curl. Um, so this is also a, a tubing formula um, <laughs> and it is designed for after hour seduction. Our unique brush creates drama, volume, and curl combined with the extreme carbon black. Is this a bedroom mascara? Water resistant finish. It's enriched with conditioning keratin and shea butter for long term lash care. That's nice. Yes. So I bought two mascaras in the sale. I'll talk about the second one in a second. But this one was very interesting because like it's it. in a squishy tube. Oh, I like that. Which uh, I, I don't think that there's any like performance enhancing feature of a squishy tube. But do you think like when it does get near the end, you're way more likely to be able to scrape the sides for excess product? Probably. And I can like move it around. Yeah. So I will say I do really like the wand. It is a curved mm wand a slightly c-shaped wand is it natural bristles I yes. believe, yeah i think so yeah. um and i have i think it's the best mascara for lower lashes i've ever used i am not wearing it today i'm wearing the other one but i will say it's a little clumpy mm. it's really easy if you keep applying mm -hmm. for it to start like all your lashes start to clump together and it like you end up with those little balls on the end and oh, then it yeah. is a beast yes but the other art type in the version of that word to okay. remove. Um, I forgot how much the tubing mascara I've used previously was not water resistant. Like it came off really nicely, even mm -hmm. just with water. This one I have used Clinique to take the day off. I have used like a micellar water. Oh. I have used uh, checks and balances. You need an oil. I need an actual cleansing oil, I think, to get this off of my eyelashes without a lot of rubbing. Mm -hmm. So I don't use waterproof mascara. Um, so I think if you do, you would really, really like this, but it doesn't budge. I So I also tend to have issues with like smudging under my eyes, especially if I put mascara on my lower lashes. Mm -hmm. I haven't noticed any of that, That's which is great. really nice because it's a big pet peeve of mine. Do you think if you added like a drop of Visine or something to it or like saline solution for contacts, it would help 
liquefy it and then not be so clumpy? It's possible. I have never experimented that way with mascaras. I wouldn't be against trying it with this one because I think I just would love a little bit thinner of a formula. Yeah. But I, I do really, really like it. Um, the other one, which I used this morning for the first time and then promptly forgot to bring with me, is the Kevin Aquan Expert Mascara in the shade Black. Kevin Aquan makes the perfect contour powder, but his products are all very expensive. Yes. Um, and so I took this as an opportunity to, to get one um, because it was a little out of my budget. But I will say... You I like used it? it this morning and I really, really like it. It oh, has good. a similarly shaped, uh, sort of soft C shaped brush, except the formula is much thinner and I just found it more buildable. Mm -hmm. Your lashes are Shh. very separated. Thank you. I like the shade of black it was. Like this is a carbon black and it's black black, but I feel like the Kevin Aquan is a little bit softer. Mm -hmm. I personally am more of like a black brown mascara person. A lot of people don't make it. Um, so I, I like a softer, more natural looking black because I am so fair. Mm -hmm. Other than that, like the packaging, I kind of felt the packaging for the price could have been nicer. Cause it looks like it's really gold and heavy. That's what I thought it was going to no. be. And it is not. It is <laughs> like more of a traditional, just sort of like plastic gold tube. I would repurchase it with 25% off. Ooh, good point. Just a thought. Just a reminder. Just we a thought. We do have a link below where you too can save 25% off. <laughs> Our own infomercial. Speaking of cleansing oils to remove stubborn eye makeup, just leading me right into my next product, which is the Pi Light Work Rose Hip Cleansing Oil. I was 100% influenced to buy this because of Estee Lalonde. Oh yeah. That woman lulls me into a sedated state when I watched her when I watch her perform her skincare routine. I could watch it all day long. So you know what our internet YouTube vibe is? Canadians. Oh my God, you're right. I know. She has got the most beautiful skin. She really does have great skin. And I love to watch her walk through her process of skincare. I've seen her use this a couple of times. She really loves pie products. It's pricey. It's in a glass bottle. It is a cleansing oil that is made sp specifically for those with sensitive skin and eyes, mm -hmm. which that's me. I have not used it yet, but I have tried it on my hand to remove swatches. I just haven't worn makeup this week, so yeah. I had no reason to use it. Because, because this is a cleansing oil, I would use this as my first step to remove makeup. I wouldn't put it on makeup free skin. Yeah. I would just go in with my regular cleanser. But it did perform really beautifully on the back of my hand where I had a swatch. This is an organic formula and it is palm oil free, which I learned about palm oil from Grace and Frankie. <laughs> oh yeah. And so I did some research after that and realized that harvesting for palm oil is very disruptive to the orangutans. And so if that is important to you, you can rest assured that you're not disturbing their natural habitat by purchasing this oil. So you moisturize this onto dry skin. I would just use one pump because an oil does go a long way, I think. And I would work it into my makeup, including my eyes and my lips. And then it does say that you can get your hands a little bit wet and then continue to massage. It turns into like a milky texture, oh. which I'm really looking forward to. And then I would go in with my second cleanse. It does have rose hip in it. And I was a little bit afraid that it was gonna smell very strongly of roses, which I don't like. It doesn't. It smells like a very light citrus with a hint of rose. Rose? Do you want to smell it? I would love to. It's not super fragranced. Mm -mm. Oh, and I like that it has the ability to lock the pump because mm -hmm. I could see that being an epic disaster. Yeah. I, 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 I am <laughs> shocked at myself that I picked up a toner. A toner. Yeah, and especially one that says like spa fresh yes. in the title. I'm not quite sure. You know what it was is I do think eventually I started, I don't remember, I started like actually doing a little bit of research when I was picking stuff. Mm -hmm. And something that I came across that was very highly rated mm -hmm. was the Espa Balancing Herbal Spa Fresh Tonic. This is a very thick uh, frosted glass bottle with this faux marble like melamine lid. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I just was like instantly in love with it. It is a aromatic toner to refresh and clarify. I have used this multiple times and I swear it has made a difference. Get out. I swear. I think toner makes such a difference. So I've used toners in the past, but never such a nice one because for a long time I didn't use a toner at all. I yeah. thought I have dry skin, toners are not for me. Mm -hmm. um, and so I have never used them as regularly or as 
I don't know, enthusiastically as right. recently and even more so with this one. This one I pulled out of the package. I was like, oh, I'm using that right now. It's an experience. I went out of my way to wash my face so that I could use this toner. Can I smell it? Yeah. Oh, it's. I'm going to love it. <laughs> oh my God. It smells. It's a spa in a bottle. It smells like that Primera moisturizer I'm using. It is identical. Oh, it's so good. I want to smell like a spa. So one of the things that I noticed in this one was there's honey, bitter orange flower water, citrus lemon peel, mm. tea tree oil, rose flower water. There's um, lavender oil, peppermint oil, rosemary leaf oil. It is a clarifying toner enriched with essential oils and flower waters to refresh and purify the skin. Peppermint leaves the skin feeling revived while witch hazel and elderflower help to tone hazel. and revitalize. Witch hazel is great for skin. So yes, and I will say it does have that peppermint in there and I have a mint aversion mm -hmm. um, to the scent and it doesn't, I don't notice heavy peppermint. And I do, I was, I was using it last night and I did think like it's cooling, mm -hmm. but it is not cooling if there's like none of that like not cooling like a biofreeze yes there's no bengay like burny yeah. minty that kind of thing my face feels refreshed i didn't think that a face could feel refreshed well now you know but it does another influenced selection estee lot she convinced me about a year ago that I needed the Galanay probiotic body milk. She called you and was like, you really need it. She did. She was like, Danielle, I've been watching you talk about how you have this really bad rash. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> yep. And you just need this, this body milk. Well, I got the body milk and I friggin' loved it. Friggin' loved it. I would hundred percent repurchase it again, but I really wanted to try a new Galanay product. You may know if you watch our channel, Thank you, like Caitlin said. Uh -huh. We love the Lancome Advanced Genifique uh -huh. Serum. Uh -huh. It has prebiotics in it. I found another pre, pro, and postbiotic serum. Wow, all the biotics. All the biotics. And my facialist always says like, oh, prebiotics, probiotics, that kind of stuff is really great for your skin. It encourages cell turnover, which is what you want. Like I want new fresh skin all the time, like a yes. baby. So I'm trying this. I have not used it yet because I have an open serum, but I'm this close to like whipping it out tonight. I just want to try it. Yeah. I just got to see what it's all about because this could change my budget. Oh, is this? It's cheaper than the advanced Genifee. Oh, but it's still a little expensive. Uh huh. So this serum will help with radiance. It helps improve the signs of aging. I will let you know. I will report back either here or on Instagram or somewhere to let you know how I'm liking it because to me, this was the thing I was most excited about. Just mm -hmm. to do a little comparison of my Lancome, I'm very excited. Galen A is a pretty small, has a pretty small line of skincare products, which I find really attractive because it's not intimidating. It's not like we make a hundred products. Good luck. Figure it out the one you want. <laughs> you went toner heavy. I purchased three mists, a toner. So the first one that I found is actually a set from Jurlique. So this was actually a set of two. This is, there's a balancing and a hydrating mist duo. Um, and when do you use a mist? So I have been finding so many times to incorporate it. For one, of course, I got it in the, I got it when I was at work. I, it arrived to my office. Oh, these are beautiful. I immediately freaking spritzed my face. Can I open this one for yes. you? Yes. So um, this one, the larger one is the Rose Water Balancing Mist with Hydrating Jurlique Rose. The small, oh, it's from South Australia. The smaller one is Sweet Violet and Grapefruit Hydrating Mist. Imagine this on your vanity or your desk or, oh my God, it's so cute. I know. It's glass. Yes. I thought it was going to be plastic. No. Oh, wow. We got to think of ways to recycle all these bottles because they're so pretty. Yes. And it's like a matte finish, like this beautiful ombre, okay. like a, a plus for packaging. I have used both of them. I do prefer the scent of the sweet violet and grapefruit because the rose water Ooh. is, like it says, very rosy. That's um, nice. The only, the only thing that I would ask that they change is the sprayer. Oh, it comes out of there like a freaking fire hose. 
And it was very like disparate. Like there's, yeah, like there's not a yeah. wide spray. Um, so when I spray myself, I have to spray it quite a bit because it like only gets tiny parts of my face. It does say you can spray it into your fingertips and then pat it into the skin. Yes. Maybe so, they know that it's not so great. So the first time I used it, I literally got it at my office and was just so freaking excited. So I sprayed it on my fully made up face at work and was absolutely drenched. Which one did you use? I used the rose water. Okay. And I just sort of... Can I smell that one? Yeah. Had to sit there and sort of fan it. But I will say, once it dried, it gave me oh. this very... This one is way wetter. Yes. Like a very wow. dewy finish, which I actually really liked. Wow. I think especially for in the afternoon when your makeup starts to slide and like things start to get kind of dry and you've been inside your you know, air conditioned or heated office. Like it's just nice to, it was a little pick me up. Oh, that's nice. And so in the morning I will spray it on my face and let it dry before I start doing my makeup oh, or okay. my be or like my pre makeup beauty routine. And then at night, right after cleansing, I will spray it on, let it dry and then go in with serums or anything. I really like them. I'm so happy. I think I'm gonna keep the little one at work. Ugh, I'm just so excited about it. I really love them. I'm really happy for you. Thank you. This next item is something that I cannot believe I've never tried. Have you ever tried it? No. And that's because I've always been so loyal to my like $8 Real Techniques makeup sponge. I love that sponge, but I've always wanted to try a real authentic beauty blender. Mm -hmm. This was like the thing that started the makeup sponge game. I see it everywhere. I finally tried it today for the first time. Oh, and it's just today. I've got to say, I absolutely love it. Do you I think it's actually superior? It could be. Oh. It could be. Oh. My foundation and concealer blended out today quicker than ever before. And I feel like this picks up the perfect amount of excess mm. product that you may have put on your skin. It feels so much lighter and less dense than I thought. Like my Real Technique sponge gets kind of heavy when I wet it, when I dampen it, and it stays quite wet. I think the pores in this one are smaller. And so when I'm putting my foundation on with it dampened, it's not adding too much more moisture. Whereas sometimes with the Real Techniques, I think it does add a little bit more moisture. Yeah. It was beautiful. My foundation and concealer blended out quicker than ever. Hmm. I really like the tip here for like concealer and setting powder. I liked this part for foundation. I feel like it's a multi-use product. I could have very easily used this blank space for like my cream blush or bronzer if I was wearing that today, which I'm not. It's latex free. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad that I finally have one in my collection. Right. like. 10 years late to the game. Right, 10 years late to the game. Better late than never, Same what though. they say. I had never heard of this company before this sale. It is the Pestle and Mortar Balance Reducing Skin Pollution Fine Misting Facial Spritz Refresh Calm Clarify Infused with Amino Acids, Deep Sea Irish Magnesium, and Bitter Root Extract. Wow, this is a five in one. Someone went to the deep sea for this. <laughs> yes, they did. Okay, so it is free from parabens, mineral oil, silicone sulfates, propylene, glycol, and synthetic fragrance. So this one they do say use AM and PM, close eye and spritz over cleansed skin. I probably will only be will only be using it at night. It looks like an apothecary shop product. Right. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It's, it's a again, glass. it's a glass. A nice frosted glass jar. May I spray it? Yes. Oh, that's yeah. good. Ha <laughs> ha. So that's a fine mist. Oh, and there's no scent. No scent. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and it's a, it's, it is a true fine mist. It's it takes great mist. at most three sprays, probably more like two to cover my whole face. Wow. Um, I really like it. It says it's for all skin types. Right, and it does, I would say, it refresh, from Ireland. refreshes, calms, and clarifies. I would not use this uh, the same night that I use the Espa. I just don't think it's necessary to double right. dip like that. Um, I do think you could use the Espa and one of these because they're both for like hydrating and balance, not necessarily toning. Right. I think this is more of a toning product. It specifically does say clarify on it. So I don't want to double down on the astringent. On the clarification. On the clarification. Maybe a month ago, we filmed an empties video in which I showed an empty baby Ren skincare product that was the Atlantic Kelp and Magnesium Anti-Fatigue 
body wash that Caitlin so lovingly gave to me that from was, her sister. Yes, my sister gave it to me. I was like, sure, I'll use these. And then I was like, I I'm it. never gonna use these. And so then Danielle has it. Cause it was something that I'd wanted to try. I love, like Ren. I love Ren products. So in that video, I was like, it was a really great body. It was a really great body wash. It smelled so amazing, but I don't think I would pay full price. And then I opened up the empty container and I smelled it again. And I was like, I take it back. I would absolutely buy it. Do you remember that? Yeah. So I bought the body cream instead of the body wash. Yes. I've used it twice and I love it. I love the scent. It's identical. It's very moisturizing and hydrating. I feel as if I just came out of the spa because usually when I'm using it, it's after I have taken a very magnificent bath. Oh, a spa. -y. Yes. Here's the only issue that I have. The pump is pure and utter garbage. Oh no. Do you think you just got a dud? Oh, like, like it doesn't have enough vacuum. Right, like I gotta do that a thousand times. Well, yeah, cause like for a body cream, you're using a lot. I'm using a lot. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm just gonna suffer through it or try to find another pump to maybe put on it. Magnesium is really great for anti-fatigue. That's why it's in a lot of like bath and Epsom salts. And to have it in a body like cream like this, I thought was really interesting. I can't speak to its anti-fatigue properties because usually when I'm using this, like I said, I've already anti-fatigued the shit out of myself. And well, I feel like you've like fatigued yourself. You've like, you've yes. soaked so long that you are now a noodle. Right. So it has kelp extract in it, which is naturally really high in hyaluronic acid, which holds like a one or 10,000 times its weight in water or something so like that. So it's so slimy. It's not slimy. It's kelp. Oh, cl kelp is slimy, yeah. yeah. My only wish is that maybe it would come in like a tub, like a mm. body butter tub or just a better pump. I don't love it. So Ren, if you're watching, first of all, love you. Love your products, but this packaging was just like a womp womp. Womp womp. Product's great though. That's how I thought about the Ugh. Jolique. Like I just want the sprayer to be a mist. And like did I just get a massage? I think I did. Did you? So it took me a long time to finally pick a serum Partly because I also was interested in the Galanay serum, but Danielle had already gotten it. And I was like, no, no, I have to try something different. I told her to get it. No, I can't. I had to try something different. So I got the Dr. Hauschka Regenerating Serum. It helps replenish and tone skin for a more youthful appearance. Tone, 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 tone. She's all about spritz, tone, essence. Apparently. So Pyrus Sidonia Seed Extract is What a, is that? Uh, I don't know. Never heard of it. Clover extract, honey, fragrance, limonene, journal, citronella. So it is a totally clear serum. I would say it's on the thinner, waterier side. Maybe a little citrus powdery, kind okay. of like a baby wipe. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Oh yeah, I can see what you're saying. It's very compact packaging. Yeah, very compact packaging, great glass. for travel. I will say it's just a little bit expensive. They just say it helps replenish and tone for a more youthful appearance, which is what I'm looking for, a more youthful appearance. We're Benjamin, Benjamin buttoning. That's the goal. But not in a creepy way. Yeah. Um, we're just getting hotter as we get older, not necessarily younger. We'll see how it goes. I do love, love, love the Lancome Genifique. Yeah. Um, so I am gonna put this to the test and see. I, I see, oh, it's gone though. It's gone. It is. So oh. sunken in. And then you would go but in even with moisturizer like, over top. Yeah, so like, ooh, so smoother. Smooth, for sure. That feels way smoother on the back of my hand than this one. Ooh, that makes me excited. It's made in Germany. It is made in Germany. I think a lot of my stuff is European today. Well, I think a lot of the products available on Skin Store are from brands that are like more European based. Yes. Which I like because like at Sephora you can't buy that stuff. At Ulta you can't really buy that stuff. No. Some, but not a lot. One of the things I was really excited about, I didn't end up purchasing, but so Zoella Beauty, if you ever have watched any of her stuff on YouTube, she always uses stuff by Illamasqua. Because I always was like, oh my God, finally, like I've, I've looked yeah. for this. Not hard, obviously, because I never found it. But I was like, ooh, let me go like put some of their brushes in my bed. Yeah. The really cool thing about Skin Store that I I really appreciate is that they have a lot more clinical grade skincare than mm -hmm. places like Sephora and Ulta. Yes. You can find that some, but Skin Store has like color science, skin suitables, skin IS clinical, like all that stuff. Yes, there's a lot of stuff that I am looking forward to trying that is harder to find. Yes. Um, and I think a lot of it's because it is sold at like cosmetic surgeon's office right. and um, at a, a higher level of testing. Right. I don't know how else to explain. I don't either. We're not scientists. Not scientists. We already said it once. We're shoppers. <laughs> the remaining products that I'm going to show you 
are all bath related because I <laughs> love the experience of a bath. For me, it's transformative. They just are such a mood elevator for me. And especially during the pandemic, I'm like, if I need to really shift my mood and relax, no one can bother me in the bathtub. I can read my book. I can drink a glass of wine. I can listen to my jazz all the while soaking. Mm -hmm. I want a full on sweat. I do a hair mask, a face mask, all the things. I talked about this specific product in a video a couple of months ago. It was in a favorites video and it's the Mio Liquid Yoga Bath Soak. Their packaging has since changed. They reformulated their packaging and they came out with a few new products. I saw a kit available on Skin Store and it was two products in one. So I was like, well, duh, I know I love this. Yeah. This is like the only thing I repurchased that I've tried before. I mean, liquid yoga, bath soak, it's very much just like that. It's very relaxing. It smells very herbal and kind of medicinal. It has magnesium in it, so it does help rela relax your fatigued muscles. It's great for after workout. It's great if you're sick and you're just feeling kind of achy. Mm -hmm. It's a fantastic bath product. It's not gonna add bubbles or anything like fun and different to your bath but you will notice a difference if you put this in. This was called the Nighttime Skin Routine Duo, and it also came with a sleeping smoothie overnight full body serum. Yeah. I bought a serum for my whole body, and I thought uh -huh. it was gonna be like boo hockey, you know, like uh -huh. a body serum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But can I just tell you something? I was so excited this morning when I was gushing to Mike about how much I love it. I've only used it three times, before bed and I've only put it on my arms and I've put it on the back of my arms where uh -huh. I've been having like really bumpy KP and normally it's not a big issue for me and it'll go away on its own. It was so bad this week that it was like very red and inflamed and super bumpy like to the to the point where I like those two are bug bites but mm -hmm. I could like see the follicles mm -hmm. and I felt like I could pick them. Ooh, so this has AHAs in it, which are acids that help to exfoliate your skin. Uh -huh. I've only put it on three times and my back of my arm is still a tiny bit rough, but it is probably 300% smoother than it was. 300% smoother. <laughs> Not smoother. even kidding. Even Mike was like, the back of your arm looks really red. What's wrong? Do you have a rash? Yeah. Like for him to notice it. And then this morning I was like, look, like feel it. It feels so much better. Mm. And so this has like a really nice, very light citrus scent. Here, try it. It's quite thin, Ooh. but I think this would be great on, like if you do have textured skin here or on the back of your thighs. I was gonna say, I have texture on the back of my legs. Like right. my hair follicles are just irritated or something. This is not something I would put over my entire body because I'm moisturizing with normal body creams and body butters. However, on those really tricky areas. It's creamsicle. It's a creamsicle. On those really tricky areas, this has helped significantly and I'm so happy to be able to talk about it because mm. I thought, this is going to be crazy. Like, what am I doing to full body serum? Right. Hey, uh, my final product is a body product. I did not go as hard in the paint as Danielle did <laughs> on body things. Uh, but the one thing that I did get, it is the Ahava Dead Sea Plants Dry Oil Body Mist in the scent Mandarin and Cedarwood. Okay. So it is a beautiful spritz. Wow. Which is nice because then it covers more parts of your body than... I love that. I love it, but it's not as cedar as I want it to be. It kind of reminds me of the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream scent. Really? So I... Absolutely. It's like warm. I also used to use a perfume in college that my friend Anna used and it was called like <gasps> Cacherelle something. I it smelled exactly like this I think I would buy that oh I would I love it and also just like oh, my legs are a little hairy sorry not really but it's like she just put it on her leg I just touched yeah her you leg, can't even see and there's nothing like you're not gonna we've talked about it before about using oily products and mm -hmm. then like sitting on your couch or getting into bed and how you know I wouldn't use them immediately before because I would right. worry about staining I don't think that this would do that. Mm -mm. I think you could easily get out of the shower, spray this on, like finish doing your pre-nighttime routine, and you could get into bed and it would be no problem. In fact, you probably would slip into bed. Like, you need fresh sheets. Put fresh sheets on, shave I your legs, super spray this, this on your legs, and then you're gonna feel like a queen. I, I like really like it. I just think, because my biggest, one of the reasons I don't moisturize as much as Danielle is because I really hate the immediate post-moisture like tackiness. tackiness. 
like the sticky thing like I just it gives me the heebie-jeebies kind of um and I also am just so like weird about leaving behind a residue on yeah. like all of my belongings so I Makes love sense. this alternative for me because I actually do think that I would use it during the day and at night nice yeah look at it I know it looks wait like a fancy see. like glove box wait until you see what's inside I already warned you bath 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 coming at you three times strong I also got an Espa product but I got the bath oil set of different options are you ready yes. it was like angels were singing when I opened the box I'm ready Oh, it's adorable. Would you just look at this? Would ya? Would ya? Look at it. Would you look at it? It has six different Espa body oils and they are as follows. Detoxifying, energizing, fitness, resistance, restorative, and soothing. So whatever you have going on for your life, in your life, you just reach into this beautiful box and you take out this beautiful glass bottle with the- This? Faux marble lid. <sighs> is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. But don't you love it? There's nothing I love more than a mini oh. product looking the same as a full-size product. I will say, it is like aromatherapy in a baby bottle. I cannot wait to use them. What a great gift this would be for someone. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It comes in it a gift box. It comes in a very gorgeous, sturdy gift box. They are 100% natural blends of aromatherapy oils. I think they're very travel friendly, so if you're going somewhere and you want to take a bath when you get there, you could pack one of these in your bag. I will report back. Yes, because please these do. are gorgeous. I'm curious. So the last items I picked were the most affordable things that I got. I think these were $8 each. It doesn't matter what kind of bath I'm taking, I'm always adding Epsom salts because they oftentimes have like Himalayan sea salt and magnesium flakes in it, and they're just really good for you. I saw Estee talk about the West Lab brand, and let's just take a moment to appreciate this gorgeous packaging. Yeah, they know what they're doing. Exactly. I love Dr. Teal's. I'll forever continue to repurchase it because it's easy to find, but their packaging is not like this. No. So I got the Mindful and Zen blends. Mindful has Epsom and Himalayan salts with frankincense and bergamot. I know, I try it. With added CBD oil. So, you know when I use this? I used this before the US presidential debate on Tuesday night, because I was like, I know I'm gonna be stressed. Uh -huh. I'm gonna zen out. Caitlin. Caitlin has been talking about how she's been taking CBD at night and feeling like a totally calm person uh -huh. when she wakes up in the morning. I swear to you, I slept better this night than I have in months. Really? I swear on all that is lovely in this you, video. You know you told me not to smell it and all I want to do is smell it. Okay, well I'll let you smell it. smell it. So this one is my favorite of the two. I put like two or three handfuls into my bath along with some of the Mio liquid yoga and I did use a little bit of Dr. Teal's bubble stuff just oh, to give me a little froth. Let me smell that one then. They're very fragranced. I just want to say that. Very fragranced. However, you're diluting the scent when you add it to a huge tub of water. So don't be intimidated by that, I guess is what I wanted to say. Like they smell intense, but when it's in a big tub of water, it's very diluted. Yeah. That scent is definitely dissipating some. This one is Zen. This is to unwind, relax, and find a Zen state of mind. The mindful one is to step into a moment of peace and tranquility. And the reason I used it on Tuesday was because it said restore calm and serenity and miss a missed modern life. I was like, perfect, that's great, 2020. <laughs> so that one was great. And this one I have not used, but I did smell it this morning and it is pungent. I am very intimidated by the smell because it kind of does take my breath away a little bit. I am going to absolutely try it, but I feel like the oils in this are just so concentrated. And when you whiff it, you're like, oh, I don't know if I can handle that. So I'm gonna try it in a big tub of water. I will say that mindful one, best night of sleep I had. Yeah, I bet it'll be fine once it's in a bathtub. Totally. Just don't stick your face in there. No, it takes your breath away. So that's everything. Yeah, that's it. We got so much stuff. I'm so excited about all of it, genuinely. I'm excited about your stuff. I like, Yes, I'm excited about all, all the stuff. oil. So if you're interested in any of these products and the thousands of more products that are available on skinstore.com, be sure you visit our link below so you can get that special 25% off code. Mm -hmm. And uh, so thank you again for Skin Store for giving this opportunity to try products that we wouldn't have probably been able to do otherwise. No. Um, thank you for giving us a discount code for all of you guys. Uh, what's on your mouth? On my mouth is my NYX lip liner in nude suede shoes. 
And then I reached for a very old favorite today. I used to use this almost every single day and it's the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Bound. A beautiful, creamy, liquid lipstick that's not long wearing or drying. And I just, I just genuinely love it. Hmm, how about you? Um, I am wearing a new one of our favorites, which is the Bu Buxom Baba Va Plump in Taupe It Off. Mm -hmm. And then I did top it with a little bit of the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. Nice. Well, thank you for watching. Yeah, as always, make sure you watch our last video. Watch our next video. Watch, watch all, all the videos. All the videos. If you use our link and you get anything from Skin Store, <gasps> let, leave it in a comment below. Let us know what you got so that yes. um, we can celebrate with you, but also maybe add it to our list. I was gonna say, especially if it was something that we didn't purchase, <sighs> yes. uh, report back because you know we're giving you reviews. We need your reviews too. I agree. Okay, I think that's everything. That's it. Thank you again. We love you. We love you and we will see you soon. Oh, comment, link, and subscribe. Oh yeah, duh. duh. Just do it. You already knew it. Yeah. Ring the bell. Do all the things. Bye. Bye.